we've got the top four teams left. We're going to witness Gambit taking on Team Nigma. Also, Nature's Prophet should do very well in the lane against uh, Kuroki. I'm wondering if Kuroki wants to steal some of the creeps. Dream. I mean, he's, he's just straight dead. Enigma diving down bottom, and he's come out all on his own there. No one else around to be able to help push them off. First blood for Enigma onto Dream. And so they'll also be able to pull the FNG away here, maybe try and chase him also. Look at the spirit out, the slow's there. GH, Mind Control, and Kuro, they'll chase this one down. I don't know if FNG can get himself away. He's been slowed down by the Orb of Venom. Enigma, they're going to start off this game with a couple of kills down here. Two kills for Enigma here. Amazing, he's pushing out the lanes. Uh, all right, the uh, dream is gone. Back to we on the mid lane. He outpushes the lane, controls the rune, even though the previous rune was uh, invis, which he killed. Didn't matter too much, but the DD, all clockwork. Yeah, this, this is smart. They know that Weeha wants to play aggressive with the DD, so Vampire's moved over. They're going to get on top of them. Weeha does the land the two man light strike array, but they've surrounded him. We are probably going to get a kill or two out of this. He'll get the one and fire. Post the fairy fire. He's going to have the movement speed as well. FN, has he got anything else? Here's the TP backup you talked about. FNG coming across to try and help, but another stun. Weeha gets the two of them, salves up, turns with the Dragon Slave, gets the double what a kill. Play. Weeha will live, the Treants, they will chase him, but there won't be enough to kill him. GH is even going to come across and give a good bit of a punch to FN. And you've got to watch out for those infest movements. Uh, she is very confident playing around them. Movement from the mid, Weeha heads down towards bottom. He'll help them pick off poor old vampires. Really struggling to get much done at the moment as this support clock, just a couple of deaths. As you know, 7-0, they still are struggling to find their first kill. They look to Miracle, and they will get him. Very, very big kill for Gambit. A bit too aggressive also. JJ showing that the FNG is just killing the couriers I mean, all over again. It, it, and it adds up, you know, a decent bit of money for the whole squad every time he does it. And Gambit, after that kill on Miracle, they're staying on the aggressive up top. Shashlo just diving on towards the tier two, chasing GH. One more hit will do it. He'll get the kill. Just TP out. TP out. He will not make it away. Nigma do get the kill in return. And, and they'll get the kills on these three heroes. They're not tanky heroes early on at all. Now back towards mid, Shash. Lasso's up. He sweeps across. Here's the lasso. Drags him back and away. Defense is going to attempt to head over. We'll get caught out by the stomp, the sleep. He's not even needed, though. It's Shashlo. He's just doing this alone. And the river, Vampire, and FN smoked up a little bit of a bait from Shasho here as he draws them over. There's the opening for the hookshot straight away into Weeha. Now look for the X-Mark combo. He yours himself up defensively, but he still gets caught out by the boat. Weeha will fall. Now Miracle and Mind Control turn up. Instant Halberd onto the lifesteal. He'll pop the rage. They'll look for the duel. Dream, he's shifting up. Is it enough to keep him alive? It is. Dream will still live. They'll lose the clock. They'll turn over towards Dream. He waveforms away. Enigma, have they got any further catch? The spirit's out. Staying upon Dream, Shashlo trying to slow them down, a pushback with the adaptive. Will stun Miracle for the time being. The stomp won't get him as Dream's under the tower. This is Miracle though, he's aggressive, he wants to keep going. Shashlo will be able to punish it, drags him back with a lasso, separates That's him from the effective. morphing. So Miracle won't get the kill, Shashlo able to protect Dream. Imagine that Gambit want to get over there, they do have those wars that would have seen Nigma step over to wash the Roche Pit. But with the Deso, maybe just doing it a little too quickly for Gamma to do anything. They do have the hook shot, so we could look for a steal here if Excess Vampire wants to commit. Nice He's Got to block. look for the timing, but indeed, the creep control from Kuro is blocking him off. The torrent's there, but Vampire cannot get in in time. Great plays from both GH and Kuro to just block off any route of access for Vampire. The boat comes crashing down. He'll try for the TP out, but they've got more than enough stuns to hold him in place, set him up for the duel as Roshan, Aegis, and the bonus duel damage all goes to Nigma. Gambit cannot contest the Roshan time. And having that disarm to, to counteract uh, a lot of the damage really coming from both the, the Kunkra and the Morph. Still obviously ways to play with the magical output <laughs> they offer. That's another courier. FNG is able to get back to business. That's a lot of gold that they, you get from the couriers right now. If you add them all up on top, they found my control. Excellent nice play. Pog. Dream gets the kill. They look to return. And Dream, he's going in aggressively. He's got a waveform forward, turned into life stealer, popped the rage, but he's taken a decent amount of right click, so he has to start shifting back into strength. Looks for Weeha. Weeha will be able to dodge that final nuke with the Yules. And Dream, he needs assistance. He has to waveform back again to get himself away. He will live. But very refreshing to see, you know, Dream really starting to get stuck in, diving in like that to four heroes. He knows his limits as, uh, as the morph, and he's ready to, to utilize them. It's mid, a bit of a play around with Miracle. Yeah, everything's starting to, to really build up to this point, this 25-minute era, which I feel like, you know, Enigma, the games that they have been able to win, they have sort of fallen between this 25-30 minute mark where they really start to push on with the power that they built up. They're coming out of mid, though. Gambit, they see an opportunity to get in onto Miracle, but whoa, Dream's just gone. 
He stepped forward and he was a little too low. And Weeha basically just one shots the poor old Morph. And Dream, he's without buyback. Now it's time to go for Enigma. The Morph players, man, these days they're so greedy, morphing everything without having a vision on that uh, high ground. So Lina just snipes them. Yeah, one of the reasons why you don't see Lina in a game much uh, against a Morph as it's normally taken away if a team wants to, to present the Morphling pick as you, you just ca get caught out, you disappear. It's 25 minutes in, two sets of full racks down against Gambit. The game, it's only getting harder for them. Was, was that Laguna? It was. And he's, he's tanky, you know, FN, not quite like Dream, doesn't really care about a Laguna. They care about uh, sort of the full combo from the two of them, those GH stomp set up the ult. He pops the BKB, I don't know if this will save him as FN doesn't manage to get the boat or any sort of extra safety out in time. Kunka will fall. Roshan is up. Gambit. The smoke will start to end. They're trying to get in on Enigma on the back lines. The jewel's there. Can they put a stop to this hook shot over from Vampire? The cogs are out. The miracle, he turns towards Shash, though, caught out by the light strike. They've lost the bat. The poor old boss in so much trouble as he wave forms away. He has to run as he gets Laguna down low. Mind control will fall. FNG able to TP back to safety. They're focusing Dream. Oh, They're trying to TP out, but the net, the stop, it's all there to hold back the morph. Another turn attempt to wave form away. He'll turn into Legion to buff himself up, giving some sort of heal. He'll use the E-Blade. He's trying to play away from these heroes, but they'll continue to chase him. The Dragon Slave clips him and Mind Control slices him down. When Morph shows in a team fight, GH just starts following him. He wants that aura on top of him to remove all of his uh, base armor and the uh, magical resistance. Morph does not have a buyback. He, he just does not. invested everything into that. Uh, like they just caught it. This is it. They just caught it. I mean, you, you got to understand, it certainly felt like it. This was a game where two racks were down. Gambit, they just weren't able to do anything. They tap out. Getting ready for game two uh, between Enigma and Gambit. Really to get anything done against these three. Uh, especially said with the pounce, sure he can keep himself safe, but he's never really going to get the chance to get in close to the heroes and try and go for the creep themselves. As they're diving in, they've got the stuns. Do they have quite the burst to bring FNG down? They do. First blood goes to Kuro. He is the carry now. Harassment is pretty much uh, not going to do anything. Fisher block. See again if they can find the full stun. This time FNG is able to juke it, but he's still getting brought down incredibly low. Jump forward here as GH moves in. Another kill for Nigma with this tri lane. Excess vampires now finally come across to try and do something in return, but still it's it's hard to fight into these heroes now that they've got this sort of early power peak. As they're looking for Dream, Dream does hit the level three. GH trying to block him off. He'll be able to pounce away in time. Vampire also rolling in, but now Vampire, he's put himself in an awkward position. GH, Fisher entirely off the mark. Maybe just in an attempt to block it, but it won't even be successful at that. It was maybe just with the, the player from the cookie. Miracle, he fuels GH, sends him forward. It doesn't matter that the Fisher didn't connect, as Excess Vampire will still die. For this a second, I thought that was Aghanim Scepter on Earthshaker already <laughs> so done. Little jumps, it's like, hang on, what's going on? But no, it's Miracle cooking up those cookies. Start putting some pressure onto the Tier 1 mid with FN leaving for the moment. That's not how you want to gank. Uh, there was Observer Ward behind Tier 1 Tower on the top lane also. He was just uh, healing the creep instead of uh, draining V's life. Oh, there's the cookie forward. They're going to have the backup to get the kill. Miracle comes across to help out Weehar. And uh, the, the, the cookie action from Miracle, he sure knows how to bake him. He's in, is it enough? The Fisher will be up in a second. Out it goes. Buying time for Mind Control to get in. He needs sort of a pocket proc on the pr passive if he wants to find this. Another cookie. cookie. Oh, oh very out, nice dodge. It doesn't matter. Oh. It doesn't matter. These cookies, even when they don't hit, you know, decent start on the left. Still, the, the farm he's struggling with. You're, they're seeing even on the top lane, the press they're putting, the Dream Slark is ahead of Kuro's Lesh Rack. Towards mid. Turning towards FNG. We are going to cut across and start to force FM back. FNG needs backup. Excess Vampire's going to come in with the combo. Looks towards Miracle. They'll be able to turn and take him. Finally, getting the snap fire off the map. It will cost FNG his life. It's hard to kill Slark. Right now, okay, there it is. All right, this works uh, just as good as a, a kill down bottom. The movement's made. They'll get the kick pick off. Dream, he's going to be focused. Does manage to juke out the stun, and he's healing up with the Shadow Dance, but they have the AoE. The Leshrac, just such a strong hero against the Slark, being able to reliably do damage through that ultimate. And it's just sort of the, the question for, for Nigma in this this lineup. When they, when they do this sort of roll switch up, sure, you know, mechanically they're going to have the abilities to make plays. What can they sort of lead that into? Mid lane, they are. They will make that movement. They'll be able to get in on top of FN, see if they can get Vampire as well. They'll lay down the Magnetize. They're going to dive on forward. We are connected with the Timber Chain and a Chakram. 
The rotation comes in, Enigma, they'll clean up kills, and they'll also take this tier one tower nice and early here. 11 minutes in, it's gone. Yeah. If Ice Frog is watching this from his office in Seattle, I hope he buffs Timbersaw a bit more. It's just a question of what sort of item timing they're going to look to, to really make plays happen in. As last game as well, we saw them farm well, but it never came together in time before Enigma was able to close down the game. Pure damage, extremely efficient against Timbersaw. Enchantress does not care about the armor. Let's see if they can try and kill him off for a turn. He's able to break the drain here with the timber chain. They do also have Shashlo moving in for the side. He's going to go for the TP, but look who's there waiting for him. Shashlo in the perfect place. As we are felt, he was safe enough to timber and TP out was not the case. I don't have an answer, but uh, definitely Mind Control has uh, a very good uh, early game. Mid, a chase in. Ounce will be there. The four of them doing a good job. Miracle trying to save Weehaw oh, with the cookie. the cookie. But well, they got it, Gambit. Sort of a second time now where Weehaw has shown himself mid and Gambit, they are using the, the abilities they have right now. They're playing that little bit more active than they were at this portion of game one. They, they recognize that they cannot let Nigma get away with these constant kills that they're farming on the map. And they're reacting now. GH is so close to Blink Dagger. 300 gold away. Oh, a little bit of a misuse stun. Oh, Tomb's down on Kuro. It will be bounced away by the cookie. Can Gambit get in any deeper to continue to chase? Vampire goes forward, gets the Magnetize down onto the three of them. That's going to do a lot to Kuro. Kuro's got to split back with a song. Oh, it couldn't be better. Whoa! Walks in, slams there. Mind control with the perfect song setup. It enables them to kill four. They're going to kill five. Vampire stun up in the tree and mind control. A beautiful song, one of the best songs we've seen. To block them off, uh, that Doom is just going to be used for nothing. Let's see what they can do about Weeha here. Definitely one of the trickier ones to go on. Shashlo, he's in though, and I say that, they make quick work with him. You definitely have to be careful if you're Enigma about fighting around Gambit's lineup. Mind Control is back to finding space. He's 3 0 3 at the moment, and he's pushing in top mid lane. They're getting an aggressive going oh! again, again, slamming them down, putting a stop to it all. Gambit, they try and get in, and aggressive. Kuro's going to tick down pretty low. Oh, he's attacked he's deny Kuro. <laughs> deny him. Miracle takes him out. As A lot of pings coming on him. Yeah. Miracle, 2, two and oh, 13 on this hero. I mean, Dream, he's just trying to run into the four of them. He's, he's kind of crazy. What's he doing? That's what That's, we call feeding, I guess. Uh, I mean, yeah. Textbook. That was not a great idea. And you can see it from a mile off. I mean, Gambit, I think sort of those plays in mid, Nigma just have shattered them. And now they're just looking completely lost. Play stupid games, Owen, win stupid prizes. Yeah. Motivation, it feels like uh, Doom is used, and that's all. Let's run onto them. So what they can get is Shashro. He's into the trees. What does he want to drop the Doom on? He's holding onto it for now. Doesn't want to drop it immediately onto GH. Will be set up by the Yules. They've got the combo. Slam's going to be out. GH will manage to get it. There's the BKB Shashlo. Putting the Doom down onto a full HP Weeha. So Weeha will be fine. He just won't be able to use any abilities for now. FNG's turned upon. They've lost one for one here at the moment as both supports will fall. But Nigma, they're ready to keep this fight going. The Doom, it's about to win. Snapfire Cookie forward as Timbersaw bounces on onto Shashlo's Doom. It's two dead on them. FN, he's separated. The song setups there, buying time for Kuro to head over and help Mind Control kill off the Pugna. As here they have it. FN, he cannot run. Sorry, it was a courage, just miracle. We are everybody else comes over to see the death of FM once more. Such a tough uh, Doom game to start with. You do not have a clear target. If you don't uh, Doom Naga Sirens, you're just gonna use ulti and you will run away. Mind control without mana at the oh, moment. Oh, and again, connects. the stuns. It's too much for Dream to deal with. Vampire rolls in. He is almost certainly gonna fall. No way out. Maybe. Mark once again. Now get him once. That's a lot of damage. Let's see what they can find off the, off the back of that first kill. Can they get more? GH, throwing the Fisher out. The Doom has been dropped onto Weeha. Weeha's going to need assistance. He's stuck inside of the base here. Kuro outside goes for the Yules combo to FN, but won't be able to execute it. They do lose Weeha. The Doom's successful this time. With him as deep as he was, Nigma could not get him out. Now Gambit, it's their time to strike. They've got to hit back hard. They'll look towards Miracle. The rest of Nigma get themselves away. Miracle goes to the TP out, but Vampire cancels the TP. A double kill. Fully in with these purchases. 
trying to do something on this bottom. They've got to somehow get Weehar away as he is slowly tickling down the towers. Chashno is able to get in and find the Doom onto the Naga Siren, but he's already separated. He's able to get away. FN committing with a BKB. GH and Weehar trying to sneak away in the trees. Weehar turns with the Chakram. Jump forward. That's GH, a big kill. He's getting life drained down low. They'll kill off the Shaker. Now they've got to look for more. Chashno and Dream continuing to commit in the trees. Roll forward. They found Kuro. They've silenced him up. He's using up the Earth Spirit in response. The Smortimus kisses are coming down. Dream, he's trying to fight on into the three of them. Pots the BKB in the Shadow Dance, but he has to run. XS Vampire's down for a minute. No buy back. Shashlo, he'll pop the BKB, but the four members of Nigma will continue to chase him down. He's got decent movement speed, but the BKB ends. He's netted up. He'll fall. He does have buyback himself, but that was Gambit's attempt to fight with these newly picked up BKBs, and it didn't do enough. They kill the Shaker, but they get nothing else, and they lose two of their own. When you see your Slark with BKB and ulti running away, you know it's time to write something in the old yeah, chat. It's, it doesn't feel great. Vord from Pogna with his third ability just insta kills it. And there we go. Bottom rack's taken. Nigma, they know that they can start to just threaten the tier four towers. It's been very hard for Gambit to push them off any of the barracks. Pushing them off the tier fours is going to be just as impossible as it seems. Dream forced to pop the Shadow Dance. GH is in with the Echo Slam. They have the control through the Shadow Dance. Dream, he'll pop the BKB, but he's dead and gone. 70 seconds, no buyback. Vampire tries to roll away, but Kuro gets in, blocks him off. Vampire will fall. As Nigma, they pretty much have just done it here. GG is indeed called as Nigma will take game two. The series is theirs, two to zero. They knock Gambit down and out, and they did it.